It took me 51 seconds to work out the answer of 76 multiplied by 84. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your brain into a calculator and get yourself multiplying much quicker using my method. The normal thing to do when you want to multiply a two digit number by a two digit number is to use long multiplication. Oh, I hate long multiplication. But using my trick, you'll be blown away by how easy it is to multiply numbers. Yeah. And the theory is actually really simple. Let's take the example 33 multiplied by 21. First, you multiply both digits in the tens column and leave the answer on the left. Then, you leave a blank space. Then, you need to multiply the two numbers in the units column and write the number on the right hand side. To find the numbers in the gap, you need to first multiply the two digits in the middle and then multiply the two exterior numbers. Once you've done that, you just need to add the two numbers together and then whatever the total is, you just move that number into the gap and hey presto, there's your answer. But as I started to practice this new method, my maths brain then thought, but what if? What if the calculation I was doing gave me an answer that was two digits? How would that fit into the gap? The unit goes into the gap and the 10 is added on to the number on the left. When multiplying two two digit numbers together, the maximum answer you can get is 9801, which is a four digit number. This fact is important to understand because in this third example, after we've done the first stage, seven times six, 42, four times three, 12, we already have a four digit number after the first stage and we have no gap in the middle. So when that happens, here's what we do. Four times six, 24, seven times three, 21. The total of those two is 45. And watch what happens to 45 now. You take the two digits over into the middle and then they add on to the two digits in the middle to make 66 and a total of 4,662. If you have enjoyed this video and it has helped you with your maths and you'd like to see more of my maths videos, then please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell so you're first to know about when my new videos come out. Thanks again for watching.